Hey guys, I'm Dom Nolch, and welcome to another Dying Light 2 Worth It video. For those of you new to this series, this is a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Today we have a special bundle called the Anubis Jackal of Death bundle. And in this bundle we get a nice little weapon, a crossbow, the Anubis skin, a nice paraglider, a grappling hook, which I'm not really too fond of, a weapon accessory, and a new kind of shield. Now this is quite a lot for a bundle, and it'll cost you about a thousand Dying Light 2 points. This is actually one of my more favorite bundles. It's new, and it came out with the update, the raid update. And before I get into it, uh, I would like to ask you guys to please leave a like, and leave a comment on what you want to see next, and subscribe if you find yourself coming back. Now starting off with the skin itself, the Anubis skin. I've got to be honest, this is the most amazing skin I've ever seen in this game. It's very heavily detailed, which I like. Some aspects of it glow in the dark, which I'll show in a second. And overall, it just looks amazing in this game. My only issue is that it doesn't really fit the setting. Like when you look at the skin, you think of sand, you think of the desert, you think of pyramids. And there's not really a place on this map that really helps the skin blend in, you know? So nonetheless, it's still an amazing skin. I just would wish they'd make maybe like a new map or something, a new kind of DLC where he goes to the desert or the beach. Something like that. Up next is the paraglider, and looking at it, well, I mean, kind of blends in with the skin itself. It's gold, it's got a scarab, and another thing about this is that it also glows in the dark. This is what it looks like, and here's what the skin itself looks like. The amulet and the eyes glow, which is something I like about this skin. It looks menacing at night. Now moving on to the weapons, starting off with the Talon of Horus, which is a one-handed machete. And looking on screen, you can see how much it'll cost you to fully upgrade it and to craft it. The fully upgraded weapon has some pretty decent damage, but unfortunately has no mod slot, so you can't really upgrade it. So it kind of falls below my ideal weapons. But the unique thing about this weapon is that when you have it out, there's this black kind of mist around it that looks like it's cursed, which I think looks cool. Now unfortunately you can't see this in photo mode so you can't really take some nice pics with it but it's still pretty cool at night because it glows. And on top of that when you use it enough you get a couple kills it'll apply a poison effect. So overall I'll probably give this a seven and a half out of ten mainly because you can't really put mods on it. You can also equip this with the Vigilant Jackal Charm which adds a 0.6% weapon damage increase but unfortunately that's based off of how much health you lose. And since I'm using boosters, it's not really all that useful for me. Like I would rather still use the grenade charm or the other charms that give me health based on every attack. You know, one of those instead. Now up next we have the Anubis crossbow, which is the main selling point to this bundle. Now the reason why I say the main selling point is because this crossbow does more damage than any of the other crossbows. More than Hakons, more than PKs, the Huntresses. Just this does more damage than any of them. So this is pretty much the best one. And on top of that it has 7 shots. As opposed to 4 or 5 that the other crossbows have. Now with Ranger gear, about 75% more damage with ranged weapons. On easy mode it can one shot a Howler, but on Nightmare it will take 2 shots but not everybody's playing on Nightmare, so we'll say one shot. But the crazy thing is that when you're shooting goons, it takes three shots, whether they're headshots or body shots, three. So you could pretty much kill two goons before reloading. Now this isn't really fair because my legend points for the crossbow damage are full, so it'll probably do a little less damage if you haven't gotten that leveled up. But if you do have it leveled up, this thing is amazing. Like killing Vols at night is super easy with this thing. It takes three shots on the chest. You don't even have to give them a headshot. But of course on Nightmare, I would not recommend using this thing because, because at night it takes a lot more shots to kill a Volatile. I couldn't really count them. And when I did, I ran into a few problems. <laughs> Yeah, I died. But overall, this crossbow is amazing. In my opinion, one of the best ranged weapons in the entire game. Of course, with the exception with the guns. Now, I'm not going to talk about the grappling hook because you can't really see that. And honestly, I, I'm not really a big fan of grappling hook skins. 
Unless the grappling hook is extremely huge, like comically huge, but we don't really have any of those, so I'm not gonna bother with this one. Now that leaves us with a shield called the Black Scarab. In order to equip this, you've gotta go to a craft master, or I probably left it in the stash and forgot about it, so <laughs> you might wanna check the stash first. It does a tiny bit more damage than the Carnage Hall one, and looks a bit better, but it has no mod slots, so not much you can do with it. And when it's fully charged, it gives you a toxic effect that you can shoot at your enemies. And when using it, I've noticed that you only get like three shots, which I guess you could use if effectively, but in my opinion, I think five would be a more fair amount. This doesn't really suit my play style, but I'm sure a lot of you can enjoy using this. So yeah, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave me a like before you go. Leave me a comment, and if you find yourself coming back to my channel, please do subscribe. I'm posting quite frequently now. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I like to